What's up, viewers? Welcome to DifferentBrains.org. I'm your host, Adrian Sassano, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. Let's kick things off over in Denver, where donations to the Global Down Syndrome Foundation have helped complete a new education center. The Global Down Syndrome Foundation's Education Center hopes to give the skills needed for healthy and productive lives. Why shouldn't some of them be people who are differently abled? Why shouldn't we have people with Down syndrome working? The nonprofit recently moved into this new space in Cherry Creek. The neighborhood alone has hundreds of potential job opportunities. It really should be something that helps the company and something that helps the employee both. Next up, let's hear from David Bagnod of CBS News as he discusses his Tourette's diagnosis. It hasn't stopped me from one thing. It has been the fuel that has motivated my journey and my dream, really. I often forget that I have Tourette's. So often when I'm in front of a camera, you can't even tell. There are no ticks. But I tick all the time. I have ticks with my mouth, ticks with my eyes, ticks with my neck. It happens. It's a part of my life. But I've learned to live with it. Wigmore Hall partnered with Resonant Arts to create a choir for families living with dementia. Let's take a look at their work. Now, let's take a look at how Santa made his meeting with a blind boy with autism a special one. Six-year-old Matthew Foster is blind, and he is autistic. Mom Misty Wolf says that when she told old St. Nick... Santa put up his hand and was like, say no more. And that's when Santa got down on the floor to let Matthew see Santa in his own way. Having him feel all over his coat and the fuzz and the felt and the hat, and he even said, pull my beard. And finally, let's take a look at a new app a dad designed for his son with dyslexia. The words wouldn't hold still on the page when he was reading them, and uh, so what I tried to do was, well, if it's, if it's just one word, then, you know, um, he doesn't have to worry about other words jumping around on the page. The result? The Lexico app, which allows users to highlight any text and transfer it to a yellow background. What is the thought behind this particular font? Uh, the idea is that it, it allows the, the reader or the reader's eye to ground uh, the text a little more than would otherwise be the case. And while you're here at Different Brains, be sure to check out some of our other content, like Exploring Different Brains with Dr. Hacky Reitman and the Spectrally Speaking podcast hosted by Becca Laurie and Dr. Katherine Cody. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.